GM maintains that the EV1 was a failure. Uh, this is just not true. Uh, the basic, the, the reason they claim is that the, the range was too short and nobody wanted to buy it. Well, first of all, it was never offered for sale. In fact, it was taken from the hands of people and destroyed against their will. It wasn't never offered for the residual value and it was taken away in a very nasty way and they were all crushed and destroyed. Uh, so that's the, the first thing that's wrong about that is that they were never offered for sale. Secondly, uh, the people that had it never had a problem with the range. It wasn't a problem with the range. It's, a, it's an imaginary problem. When you have an EV, you know, you find out that you, you really don't drive 500 miles a day. And when you do drive 500 miles a day, you usually have a different car and and or you take the you drink take your EV to the airplane uh, uh, to the airport and you take a plane or you go to to a, the rail yard and you take a rail or you you carpool or you uh, go some other way on a bus or whatever. People don't have the time to drive you know a thousand miles in in a car every day, so it's an illusion to think well I need to have a car that'll go five hundred miles. In, in point of fact, you know, we've always kept a gas car, most of the time kept a gas car. But in, in the 10 or 11 years that we've had electric cars, production electric cars, we've driven over 600,000 miles on the electric car. Now, that's, that's a lot of driving. Now, it wasn't, you know, 600 miles per drive, although we did take the car to Eugene, Oregon, and some people took a car, an EV1, to Canada, you know, Toronto and New York and Florida and like that. It's mainly done with driving the daily grind. It's the, it's the average drive when you go to the store. And we also find that when there's an electric car in the family, everybody wants to drive it. And if you can't take the electric car, you often just don't even want to go at all. You know, it becomes a, a, a focal point of the entire family. Now, Granted, you know, 600,000 miles, that's 600,000 miles driven without gasoline. And people who say, well, you can't drive an electric car, it's a failure because it won't go 600 miles on a charge, it's just wrong. You know, and we have outside, right here, an electric car, you know, that's that one of them has 91,000 miles on it, the other one has uh, 79,000 miles on it. You know, we're not driving them as much as we used to because we're trying to make them last until 2015 when uh, the Chevron patents expire. But these, these cars are, are real, existing, working, fine <laughs> cars, and, and everybody seems to be ignoring it. GM is saying, well, you know, it was a failure because they don't go 200 miles or 600 miles. These cars are worth more now than they were when they were, when they were new, because you can't get any more, because General Motors crushed all the, their EV1s. The only cars that were ever sold were the 300 and some Toyota RAV4 EVs that were sold to the general public by Toyota. So that, that's, that's the, first, the first lie and the second lie, or the first misstatement and the second misstatement. First of all, the electric cars by, were never, from GM were never offered for sale. And secondly, uh, that you don't have to have a 300 mile range. Now, when you put the range extender on it, you know, it, it's, it's fine. You know, someday we may want to go 1,000 miles. Alan Cocconi did. He had the Long Ranger, and he just drive his car, his T0, all over the country. Uh, and it's nothing new. I mean, it's easy to do. But we've found that the most you really need is 160 miles, uh, and even that's too much. You know, really, all you need is 100 miles uh, range on the EV, is mostly you don't drive more than 100 miles a day. The most I ever commuted was 62 and a half miles to work. And that was a four hour commute from Seal Beach to, uh, to uh, Thousand Oaks. And, and you know, you, you just don't want to do that. You know, mostly your commute is 14 miles. And in, when it, with a normal commute, you know, the 160 mile range that we had on the EV1 was actually too much. You know, we really only needed 100, 120 mile range. It's, it's nice to have 160 miles if you're going long distance, but you certainly don't need 300 miles range. You know, it's, it's, it's just not true. And it's keeps, GM keeps saying this, keeps saying that the EV1 is a failure and people keep repeating these untruths. It's just not true. You know, the, the 120 mile range EV1 or 140 mile range EV1 
It's really all we need. The RAV4EV is all we need for ordinary driving. And for long distance driving, you know, rent a car or keep a gas car. You want to go to Mammoth, you know, buy a Ford Explorer. Uh, but let's get rid of this GM misstatement. I, I, I like to call it a lie that the EV1 was a failure. It was not a failure. It was a big success. It was GM that made up the lie that it was a failure and confiscated them and wouldn't let people keep them, people that wanted them. Nobody really wanted to give them up. We all wanted to keep them, and we wanted to pay money for them, but GM wouldn't let us do it. So why was why, why is this persistent lie that the GV1 was a failure? And by saying it's a failure, you know, they also ignore the experience of EV1 drivers and other EV drivers, which is that you don't have to have a 600 mile range car to have a successful electric car. You know, that's just the way experience tells us. And, and there's millions of miles of, of EV driving and, and GM to this date is ignoring this when they're making up their, their phony lies.